Here is another video for one of our viewers and hopefully it will help you and it's going to have to do with figuring out the handrail or guard railing height. And even though I've made a couple of videos on this and this one here, I'm going to use a sheet of plywood. And you can always use a smaller piece of plywood. You don't need to use a full sheet for this. And of course, most people seem to have a problem if the 2x4 framing or the baluster, whatever you're measuring, doesn't seem to line up with the front of a stair step. So it's going to be easier to measure something like this than it will be to measure something like this. However, I don't think it's going to be as difficult if you use this plywood method. And in this method, we're just simply going to draw whatever line we need. Or we can even cut a section of the plywood. But in our example, we're not going to be cutting anything. We're just simply going to lay out two lines. And one will be the 42 inches or 3 foot 6 measurement. And the 3 inches less will represent two framing plates. Even though I won't be providing you with an example of that in the video. After we have created the lines that we need, we can just simply lay the piece of plywood or OSB on top of the stairway nosing and then simply go over to the other side where we can mark the top of the angled stud or double check any measurements that we need to do by simply moving the plywood or the OSB. And another thing you can do will be to mark both sides. So here we have marked this side we can simply go around and mark the other side to find the angle that we need to cut the top of the wall framing stud. So this is one thing you can use this method for. And the next thing I want to talk about will be to use it to check the top of a guardrail. And you can see here where this guardrail is not 42 inches. And it doesn't mean that this guardrail won't meet building codes because you would have to check with the building codes in your area to find out what those building codes actually were, or more importantly, if they met building codes 20 or 40 or 70 years ago and might not need to be modified today. Another thing I have used this method for was to check the guard railing height to find out that it wasn't parallel to the top of the stair nosing. And this isn't a big deal. The building code does not care if your guardrail is parallel to the stair nosing. They just want it to be at or above the minimum height required by your building codes. And this method can also be used for positioning your hand railing. So this would be your grippable hand railing. And I think I would simply cut the plywood at the height I needed so that I could use it to position the hardware to make sure that the grippable hand railing will meet local building codes. So there you have it, another tool for your toolbox. And as always, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or leaving a comment in the comment area. If you think this is actually something that's going to benefit you or you learned a different way to do something, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.